Hi, myself Pooja Bak, Assistant Professor of GKCM of GIS Group, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here you will find the details of my contact information. And I have developed a Facebook page where regular updates regarding this course are available time to time. Hello everyone. Here in this session, I will be going to explain Gaussian minimum shift keying modulation, which is GMSK modulation. So let's see what is GMSK modulation. So Gaussian minimum shift keying GMSK is a form of modulation based on frequency shift keying FSK and that has no phase discontinuities and provides efficient use of spectrum as well as enabling high efficiency radio power amplifiers. So basically GMSK, Gaussian Minimum Shift King Modulation based on FSK, Frequency Shift King. And that has no phase discontinuities. So uh, this Gaussian Minimum Shift King, basically it is the full title of Gaussian Filtered Minimum Shift King of GMSK and is a form of frequency modulation that is used in radio communication systems. So GMSK is probably most widely associated with the 2G GSM mobile communication system where it proved to be an effective effective form of modulation and uh, uh, and it was one of the reason that gsm cell phones had a long battery life in view of high efficiency and that could be obtained from the rf power amplifiers so uh, what is gmsk basically gmsk is the gaussian minimum shift keying modulation which is based on the frequency shift keying fsk but that has no phase discontinuities okay and uh, basically it is uh, widely used with the 2g gsm mobile and uh, mobile system where it proved to be an effective form of modulation and uh, it was one of the reasons that gsm cell phones had a long battery life in view of high efficiency and that could be obtained from the rf power amplifiers so basically gmsk is a form of frequency modulation and that is used in radio communication system okay now let's see the basics of gmsk so gmsk modulation is based on msk msk is what msk is minimum shift king technique which I have already discussed in my previous video. So GMSK modulation is based on MSK, which is itself a form of continuous phase frequency shift keying, CPFSK. So CPSK means the continuous phase frequency shift keying. And one of the problems with standard forms of PSK is that sidebands extend out from the carrier. Okay, so to overcome this MSK and its derivative GMSK can be used.
so basically the gmsk modulation is based on msk which is minimum shift king modulation and which is uh, itself a form of continuous phase frequency shift king and one of the problems with standard form of psk is that side bands extend out from the carrier okay so to overcome this msk and its derivative gmsk can be used so msk and also gmsk modulation are what is known as continuous phase scheme here there are no phase discontinuities because the frequency changes occur at the carrier zero crossing points so this arises as a result of the unique factor of msk and that the frequency difference between the logical one and logical zero states is always equal to half the data rate so this can be expressed in terms of the modulation index and which is always equal to 0.5 so msk and also gmsk modulation are what is known as a continuous phase scheme okay so because there are no phase discontinuities because the frequency changes occurred at the carrier zero crossing points and there are no phase discontinuities so that's why it's known as a continuous phase scheme and this arises as a result of the unique factor of msk that the frequency difference between the logical one and logical zero states is always equal to half of the data rate so this can be expressed in terms of modulation index so this is known as an modulation as a modulation index and uh, which is always equal to 0.5 okay and now let's see the power spectral density waveform so this is the power spectral density waveform so a plot of the spectrum of an msk signal shows the side bands extending well beyond a bandwidth equal to the data rate so here you can see that this side band extending well beyond a bandwidth equal to the data rate so this can be reduced by passing the modulating signal through a low pass filter prior to applying it to the carrier okay so here the side band extending well beyond a bandwidth equal to the data rate and uh, it can be reduced by passing the modulating signal through a lpf low pass filter prior to applying it to the carrier so the requirements for the filter are that it should have a sharp cut off narrow bandwidth and its impulse response should show no overshoot okay so the ideal filter is known as gaussian filter which has a gaussian shaped response to an impulse and no ringing so in this way the basic msk signal is converted to gmsk modulation so how to convert a basic msk signal into a gmsk modulation so at first at first uh, this is a spectrum power spent power spectral density waveform 
and here the sidebands extending well beyond the bandwidth and this can be reduced by passing the modulating signal so it can be reduced by passing this modulating signal through a low pass filter prior to applying it to the carrier okay so but there are some requirements for the filter number 1 it should have a sharp cut off narrow bandwidth and its impulse response should no show no overshoot so number 1 is a sharp cut off narrow number 2 the narrow bandwidth and number 3 the impulse response should show no overshoot so that's the requirements for the low pass filter so the ideal filter so the ideal filter which have all this criteria and uh, this is known as a gaussian filter which has a gaussian shaped response to an impulse and no ringing and in this way the basic msk signal is converted to gmsk modulation okay so one of the uh, advantages of msk modulation is uh, general and in the specific case that gmsk is that it and the msk modulation makes the phase change linear and limited over a bit interval t so the msk modulation makes the phase change linear and limited to plus minus suppose pi by plus minus pi by 2 over a bit interval t and the enables msk to provide a significant improvement over qpsk because of the effect of the linear phase change so the power spectral density has low side lobes that help to control adjacent channel interference and however the main lobe becomes wider than the quadrature shift king okay so there are one of the advantage of msk modulation in general and uh, specific case that uh, the msk modulation makes the phase change linear and limited to plus minus pi by 2 over a bit interval t and uh, the enable uh, msk to provide significant improvement over qpsk because of the effect of the linear phase change the power spectral density has low side lobes and that helps to control adjacent channel interference however the main lobe becomes wider than the quadrature shift king okay now let's see the generating gmsk modulation so there are two types for uh, the first one is gmsk modulator using vco and the second one is gmsk modulation using iq modulator so let's see the first one gmsk modulator using vco so uh, in gmsk modulator using vco basically there there are two main ways in which gmsk modulation can be generated which i have told using vco and using iq uh, modulator so the most obvious way is to filter the modulating signal using a gaussian filter and then apply this to a frequency modulator where the modulation index is set 0.5 which i have already told and this method is very simple and straightforward but it has the drawback 
that the modulation index must exactly equal to 0 0.5. So in practice, this analog method is not suitable because component tolerance is drift and cannot be set exactly. So basically in a GMS modulation using VCO, the obvious way is to filter the modulating signal. At first filter the modulating signal using a Gaussian filter and then apply this to a frequency modulator where modulator index where modulation index is set to 0 0.5 okay so this method is very simple and straightforward but there is one drawback which is the modulation index must exactly equal 0 0.5 because in practice this analog method is not suitable because analog because the component tolerance drift and cannot be said exactly so this is the gms modulator using vco and now now let's see the second method so a second method is more widely used Okay, so the second method is GMSK modulator using an IQ modulator which is more widely used. And um, the here what is known as a quadrature modulator is used. So the term quadrature means that the phase of single, the, that the phase of signal is in quadrature or 90 degrees to another one okay so the quadrature modulator uses one signal that is said to be in phase and another that is in quadrature to this so in view of the in phase and quadrature elements this type of modulator is often said to be an IQ modulator. So what is IQ modulator? So basically the term quadrature means that the phase of signal is in quadrature or 90 degrees to another one. And the quadrature modulator uses one signal that is said to be in phase and another that is in quadrature to this. So in view of the in phase and quadrature elements, this type of modulator is often said to be an IQ modulator. So using this type of modulator, the modulator index can be maintained at exactly 0 0.5 without the need for any settings or adjustments. So this makes it much easier to use and capable of providing the required level of performance without the need for adjustments so the so that's why basically for that reason gms can modulate using an iq modulator so that's why this method is more widely used okay because in this method where we are using IQ modulator and uh, in this method the modulation can modulation index can be maintained at exactly 0 0.5 without the need for any settings or adjustments okay so that's why it is widely used okay and uh, now let's see the advantages of GMSK modulation. 
so there are several advantages to the use of gmsk modulation for a radio communication system so one is obviously the improved the spectral efficiency when compared to other phase shift kit modes okay so basically it is uh, the basically its main advantages which is uh, it is used in radio communication system and and the further advantages of gmsk is that it can be amplified by a non linear amplifier and remain undistorted this okay so uh, the further advantages of gmsk is that it can be amplified by a non linear amplifier and remain undistorted so this is because there are no elements of the signal that are carried as amplitude variations so this advantages of a particular importance when using small portable transmitters such as those required by cellular technology and the non linear amplifiers are most efficient in terms of the uh, dc power input from the power rails uh, that they convert into a radio frequency signal so this means that the power consumption for a given output is much less and this result in lower levels of battery consumption and a very important factor for cell phones so so it can be amplified by a non linear amplifier and remain undistorted and uh, and the further advantages of gmsk modulation again arises from the fact that none of the information is carried as amplitude value